Hey, this is Steven, and we're going to do a quick tip that I just recently learned about uh, as far as generating interesting normals um, without having to actually generate any geometry. Uh, so what we have here in front of us is just a uh, grayscale image. Uh, we're going to use it as a height map, and we're going to turn it into a normal map. But what I really want to show you is how to use a uh, gradient or uh, first off a gradient in order to, to uh, create more of an interesting uh, like bevel on a surface. So uh, I'm going to hide my hexagons and I'm going to choose just this layer here that I have for the center uh, panels of the, um, of the image. Uh, I'm going to go into my adjustment layers. I'm going to put an inner glow on it. I'm going to put it on full, and I'm going to put it on uh, screen, and then we're going to increase the size so we can actually kind of see it going on, uh, and then switch it to precise. So that creates a, a bevel, beveled surface uh, for our panels so that it looks like they're receding down into the ground. But here's the really cool part. If you go to the contour, you can actually add a little bit more detail into that so that the shape has more like depth, I guess you could say. Kind of just doesn't look like a straight uh, gradient, but now you have a little bit of like a layered effect. And the more points you put in, the more you can kind of like tweak it and get it to work the way you want it to. So you can put some really kind of interesting kind of shapes into there like that. Um, so that's one way. The other way is I'm going to take this uh, top bar um, and I'm going to just select the top bar. I'm going to go and create an actual gradient. Um, this one I want to have a center be darker than the outside. So I'm going to do something like that and hit OK. And then I'm going to create this gradient here like that. Uh, and then the other thing you can do is once you, if you do it this way, then you have to, you have kind of even more control because you can go to curves and do almost exactly the same thing, but if you choose the pencil, you can actually draw exactly what you want it to look like. You can even put like a groove or something in there. And so, all right, so I've imported it into Unreal, and this is the final result of just a normal map in the starter asset stuff. So you can see that those bevels that we created kind of gave it a much more interesting um, kind of character. All right, well, thank you for your time, and I hope you learned something new. And if uh, you like this, then that's awesome, and maybe I'll keep doing them.